come and try mine on for size. I'm real good at holding hands and really great at drying up. I think the message of this show that resonates with me the most is just how resilient uh, these characters are and inspiring. And I think that the message of this show um, really honors uh, Charles Schultz's legacy and these beautiful characters that he created. Well, when we started approaching this piece, we sort of wanted to look at a different way that dance could play a role in the show and turning what was, you know, once a solo into a production number, uh, you know, or what was once a, a stand and sing into something that moved. Uh, we, we just looked for ways that um, numbers could open up in a more active way, and of course, dance played a huge part in that. I watched Adam's work and he just he was bringing a freshness to the show that I hadn't imagined and uh, he was looking at it with a, from a choreographer's point of view. And it's never been a particularly choreographic show. The m numbers were musically staged but there were no dance sections or dance numbers. And he's, he's elevated the profile of the show so much because of what he brings to it. Don't let the world find out what I don't know about Edgar Allen Poe Edgar Allen stories and essays. Larry's added a lot of new material for Woodstock. Uh, one of the things that Adam and I really wanted to look at was the role that dance played in the show and the character of Woodstock and sort of utilizing him as more of a narrator in the piece, sort of taking us in and out of these vignettes. Do you know how to grill a swordfish? Huh? Huh? You ask it a lot of tough questions. <laughs> You want is for someone to say, I like you, Charlie Brown, oh. and then you'll be happy. And then I'll be happy. I like. I like. <laughs> I just can't do it. A light snow was falling, and the little girl, small, no little. One of the things that I was very interested in doing when um, Adam and Larry and I uh, early on started talking about developing the show, um, I felt it was very important that we had new orchestrations. Um, one, to make it more current, more hip, uh, bring it to today's audiences, um, and, you know, have a fresh, a fresh sound to the show. Husbands throughout history have learned the golden rule. Slay the dragon, drag it home, and let their woman rule. When you need a friend.